Okay, so here's your basic Kenmore dryer. It's an older style. And uh, we've got a little bit, the motor, what happens is the motor, uh, the motor will run a load, then it won't run the next load. So the motor's getting tired, basically. And so what I've done is, uh, I use this stuff. It's probably always good to use a well-ventilated area when you use it, because it has Teflon in it. And then I, I sprayed in my I sprayed in my zoom oiler. And what I do is I crack the I crack the cap on the bearing or the bushing. And then uh, zoom oil the, the bushing. I've got the machine tipped so I don't have to take the motor out. Ideally, you know, you can take the motor out, but basically you can see inside there there's a felt right there. You want to make sure that's well lubricated. And then since you've got it tipped, you can you can hit the back back bearing, and with the slant on the back bearing here, you can get on the back bearing and just uh, put a few drops of oil on the bearing shaft, and it will drip down into the uh, bushing area. And so when I first started, this, this motor was actually squeaking. It would run a load, then it would stop. It wouldn't run any more. So it's not squeaking now. And so hopefully, you know, we can bring a little more life back into this motor uh, until we can get a new one. All right, thanks for watching. If you need any repairs done here in Northern California, feel free to call me, 707-443-8347, or check out my website. It's www.appliance.works.webs.com